Capricorn, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for June 15th through the 21st. My name is Athen. So this week we've got uh, a new moon happening right on Tuesday, shaping up the new beginnings for the next 30 days. And it's involving that fifth house of yours, which is about creative self-expression, joy, fun, children, creativity, uh, romance even, and whatever that is for you, which is essentially just the things that we really enjoy out of life, um, is conjunct up to Mars, this new moon is. So I think there's a lot of intention, a lot of motivation relating to these fifth house matters, which you can really put that positive energy into for this next 30 day lunar cycle. So reflecting on these things though, around Tuesday, I think the energies will still be quite high with the sun conjuncting up to Mars. But um, putting energy into it, slow and steady, and then as the week unfolds, more and more of this energy will start to build. And that can be where you can have some culminations in the next two weeks or the next six months, depending on um, the uh, you know goals that or intentions that you set relating to these fifth house matters. So uh, that's going to be the um, overall energy of the week for you. But um, we have a very nice transit this week. We've got Uranus trending up to Jupiter here for the third and final time, which has been an ongoing aspect for about the past year. So here with Jupiter in your seventh house and Venus recently going in here, perhaps you guys have been um, seeing the opportunities and expansion and possibilities with one-on-one -on -one connections and relationships over the past year. And uh, recently with Venus going in here, perhaps enjoying those connections. So more opportunities with that. It's coming from this freeing energy of uh, your communications and your thoughts, which is where we had the um, eclipse energy of that south node from the third house, hopefully freeing yourself up since around March, relating to communications, relating to thought patterns, and how you uh, exchange information basically and learning too. Whatever that's been, that freeing up energy is now supporting the seventh house relationship matters. Now Jupiter does naturally rule that third house, so I think there is uh, communication should be flowing quite nice, I would say, this week and next week. And um, also things relating to rest and relaxation, you do have an opportunity there to connect to these matters because Jupiter does naturally rule that 12th house of yours. But all in all, definitely uh, more uh, expansion and possibilities with connections, uh, both new and existing. And I think you can enjoy that very much the next couple weeks. So seeing those opportunities, but then of course walking through the doors is Jupiter because um, you know it takes Saturn, it takes that Capricorn energy to make something of opportunities in life. So we see the door, it's open, but we have to walk through it, so to speak. So something to um, throw out there. But uh, yeah, definitely in the relationship and third house related areas of life. Now on Wednesday through Friday, we've got the um, North Node trining up to Mercury. So this is uh, very supportive towards life path here. Um, you guys have had the North Node transiting your ninth house of life path, of uh, expanding your horizons, of uh, whatever it might be that's uh, helping you free up an energy of open, you know, open fields like philosophy, maybe doing traveling, maybe thinking about things abroad, maybe university studies, whatever it's been. And this may or may not be something personal for you because it's the North Node. But in either case, this whole year, it's very important that you expand and move in that direction of uh, you know the expansive side of life. And this week is certainly supportive when you've got Mercury trining up to that North Node, supporting that, especially relating to the things maybe you recently learned about fun, joy, self-expression, and creativity, which is where Mercury was retrograde in that fifth house. So whatever you learned about that since that Mercury retrograde, I think that'll be very supportive for anything that, again, helps you tap into the adventurous spirit of life. And that's midweek, Wednesday through Friday in particular. Now, Friday and Saturday and into the weekend, we have the sun changing signs going into your sixth house of uh, work, of the day-to-day -day work and um, crafts and development of your skills, your self-improvement, your diet, things like this. So this is where a lot of energy is going to be next week when we have Mars going in there and the new, new beginnings there uh, next month as well. But um, here over the weekend, I think a really good time to um, get the health regimen taken care of, develop any crafts, take any of this creative stuff that is all this new beginning and really start to refine it. This is where if you have any new ideas relating to Fifth House Matters, this is about getting real, getting practical, making it into something tangible, so to speak, uh, when we go from the fifth to the sixth to the sixth house here. So a good energy to work with, I would say, and this is going to be the area, like I said, really highlighting um, next week. So all in all, this week, just a few aspects, but very nice. I think definitely the fifth house of fun, joy, creativity is uh, the new beginnings for you. So putting energy into that and the opportunities definitely coming into the relationship, one-on-one -on -one connection side of things. 
and um, your communication and wanting to learn and uh, picking up the book and studying things like this with uh, Uranus in that third house that can be very freeing and liberating as well so Capricorn have a nice week if you're new to this form of astrology do check out masteringthezodiac.com or if you'd like a personal session and um, if you are used to Western astrology um, do check the link or the description because your sign very well might be different I've been getting a lot of inquiries lately about that so uh, if that's usually what you're used to Western the Western approach then your sign is likely different so do check that out all right Capricorn have a nice time I'll see you next time take care